Welcome to the second part of, of this video tutorial and in this case we are going to analyze the geometry so we need to import the geometry to the software that in this case we are going to use ANSYS we need to open the software ANSYS Workbench and just we need to wait a few seconds Okay, it's ready. So um, let me check. First, what do we need to do? Uh, we need to open. We need to open the static structure. I'm going to respond. Explicit dynamics. Here it is. So we need to open the explicit dy dynamics, and we're going to follow the order that appears here. Okay. So first, we need to choose. The, um, the material that we are going to use for this analysis and in this case we need to make click here on generate data sources and then we need to find explicit materials explicit materials and in explicit materials we are going to use a specific material uh, that in this case is aluminium 6061T6. Okay, to select it, uh, we need to make a click here on the on this symbol, and it's going to appear a book next to the symbol that indicates that this um, material is available for the analysis. Then we need to close the engineering data and the material is ready. So, the second part, we need to import the geometry. We need to make a click, um, right click, and then we need to import the geometry. Import geometry and then browse. Browse. And in this case, you can have, um, you can import different kind of files with different extensions. You can uh, even open the same file that you save um, with Katia. It's, Kat it's a Katia part. But if you don't open this, um, this file, you can uh, save the same file, but with the extension IGS. So but in this case, we're going to use the, the, um, the file that is provided by Katia. Then we need to open the, the file and then we need to open this geometry on the design modeler, not in the space plane. We need to open this file in design modeler. Okay, so in design modeler, here say starting the design modeler. Well, let me check. Here it is. Okay, this is the software, the explicit dynamics on the design modeler. And as you can see here, we have our, our import. So we just need to generate the geometry. We need to wait a few seconds and. It's not ready. As you can see here, here we have our geometry, but it's divided. As, uh, here we have three bodies, two parts and three bodies, just as we model the geometry. If you remember, we separate the geometry on the reduced section area and the grip sections. This one and this other one, okay? So that's the point that you have here uh, um, divided geometry. So that's it for uh, the design modeler. We, need to, we can close that, 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 um, that software and then we need to open the model part. You see, as you can see, it says starting mechanical. We need to wait some 
seconds. Okay, here it is. And it's loading. It's loading. Okay, here we have our geometry. Okay, and first we need to follow the order of this tree. First we have the geometry, and in this case you can select the parts and uh, first you need to select the first one and in this part we need to change the material here as a default we have structural steel but we need to choose aluminum 6061 t6 and it's the same for the other parts we need to change the material to aluminum and the last one we need to change to aluminum so we have ready the first part the geometry and the materials and the next part as you can see here here we have the mesh then you need to make click here on update update the mesh and here we have the mesh it's an automatic mesh we are not uh, uh, typing certain values of this mesh it's an automatic mesh but it works in this case so the next part on explicit dynamics on explicit dynamics uh, we need to type certain information here on a analysis settings on the analysis settings we are going to type uh, value of 0 0.001 seconds okay and this part the cycles okay okay where is the cycles here we have ten million of cycles we are uh, leave that information at it appears and that's it then we need to select, then we need to select the geometry. First, we need to apply some support, a fixed support. He, uh, uh, here you have different filters to select the geometry. You can um, select a vertex, you can select an edge, you can select a face or a body. In this case, you need to select face, face and well, we're going to select, for example, this face and this and this other face. As just as uh, it is in the reality, okay? And then we need to make click here on apply. Then the other part, as you know, on the um, uh, machine, universal machine, you fix one part of the specimen and you apply a displacement on the other one. So in that case, we are going to apply here a support, a displacement, and you are going to select the, the other two faces, the other two faces and apply. But here you need to um, type what is going to be the displacement and in which uh, of the three axes you are going to apply this this uh, displacement and for example in this case we're going to type 12 12 millimeters on the x component and that's it and look the direction the direction of the uh, of the displacement um, is on this side okay that um, provokes uh, um, attention, attention of the specimen. Okay, and it's ready. Uh, it's ready. Okay, then we need to go to the solution part, and in this case, we are going to apply uh, equivalent stress, equivalent strain, equivalent stress and maximum principal stress and why not we are going to apply a directional deformation 
and we need to read the x-axis okay then we need to solve the um, the analysis okay this takes more time so as you can see here we have the overall process progress and this takes time so i'm going to interrupt this analysis or this video i'm sorry and then i'm going to uh, uh, restart the video so here we have the results but if you can see uh, the results are showed on the whole um, specimen or the entire specimen uh, but if you want to focus on the area of interest that is in this case the reduced section you can um, be able to select only that part but you can modify this result so I'm going to to show you how to do that I'm going to delete all the results and I'm going to select only the area of interest to me okay so uh, in this case is uh, deformation total deformation directional and here I'm going to apply a filter okay in this case I only need the reduced area so here I, I select that, that area and, and then I'm going to make click here on apply okay I'm going to do the same on the stress and the strain. Okay, in strain, I select the area, apply, and the stress, for me, I select the body, apply, and it's equivalent stress, maximum principle, and apply. And that's it. Then I run again, again the uh, solution. and. As you can see here, here we have uh, uh, our results. Okay, here we have our results. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we have the results. Okay, here it is. Here we have our results. Do we have certain values? of a strain and a stress and equivalent stress here we have all the results okay then i'm going to um create the stress strain graft okay uh, how can i do that first i need to select the results that are involved for example in this case i'm going to uh, graft the equivalent stress and the equivalent elastic strain um, then i'm going to select here the new chart and table okay perfect uh, here it is okay here on the chart um, on the axis x axis i'm going to select the oh no need to move this one uh, i need to select the uh, equivalent strain the maximum equivalent stress okay then um the x-axis okay i'm going to reduce this section uh, this section and let me increase this part the graft as you can see here we have loaded different um, elements different results but in this case for example the case of the time it is not necessary we're going to omit it the time is not necessary the equivalent elastic strain minimum we're going to omit it and for example the equivalent stress minimum we're going to omit it so as you can see here we have the graft the uh, stress strain graft and if you uh, check for example the report 
que for pedido. Going to increase this area. Here is the report. And in that report, it needs to appear that graph. Here is the graph uh, of my interest. As you can see here, you can identify different uh, zones. For example, in this part, here we have the elastic zone. And we have here the plastic zone. And if you apply the core theory, you can find the gel point, for example, and uh, even you can uh, find the ultimate tensile stress that in this case is, uh, for example, 418 megapascals. And we have here the breakpoint. So this is very important uh, to get this graph. In this kind of analysis, you can find uh, the elastic and the plastic zones. And uh, you can uh, discover the behavior of the material on that uh, areas of interest. So if you want to, uh, to, to get more accurate results, you can draw uh, mesh analysis before to um, uh, draw the, the, the analysis and define what would be the best um, uh, size of the, of the elements to mesh the geometry. And well, that's it for me. Here we have the results. If you want to check uh, this, um, this practice more times, you can do it and you can apply this theory to other kind of analysis of explicit dynamics. Well, that's it for me. Bye.